Welcome back to Range Anxiety TV. I promise we're going to be back out in a workshop soon. We're going to be fitting up some of these great DTEK EV parts to Teslas and making them go quicker for longer and further. It's like Viagra for your battery. Now, today we're talking about something that is not very much like Viagra for anything, and that's hydrogen-powered motor vehicles, the wet dream that has been going around now for all, oh, about as long as I have been. No, I reckon about 40 years, manufacturers have been talking about, wait till hydrogen comes, wait till hydrogen comes. You know, there were hydrogen-powered RX-8s, there were all sorts, every manufacturer has had a go at it, and most manufacturers have picked up the idea and thrown it clean in the bin. Why? Because it's dumb and it doesn't work, and here's why. Now, at the moment, I think there are two hydrogen cars you can get. There's a Toyota Mirai uh, in America, and I think you can even get it here, but you can only lease them. You can never own it, and you have to give it back so they can crush it when you're finished with it. And the Hyundai Nexo. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but they're both really ugly, really slow, cars that just don't make any sense. Hydrogen is stupid. It takes a lot of energy to make it. And so you lose a lot of energy along the way. You use, you know, it takes like four times the electricity to make hydrogen than it does to power a car. It's just stupid and inefficient. And the vehicles are very, very slow because how does it work? It works where you have a thing called a fuel cell that's some magical TARDIS of a box that goes in the car and it creates electricity from hydrogen, which then goes into powering a tiny little pissy electric motor and little battery, which is just stupidly small and stupidly slow. Now, this would be really, really, really good if hydrogen was cheap. Well, I think there's one place in Canberra you can get it. Uh, so, you know, if, if you're a Canberrian, go for your Toyota Mirai, if, if that's if you want to have water coming out your exhaust. Um, but it's not particularly cheap. You know, it's about two to three times the cost of fueling a car on 98. So there's no cost benefit to it, right? There's no performance benefit to it. Yes, I know. There's actually no benefit at all to it apart from feeding our addiction. You see, they said nicotine was the most powerful drug in the world. And yeah, it can be quite addictive. You can take that from an ex-smoker, ex. But our addiction to fuel and petrol is way, way, way more addictive. In fact, people blindly support us giving our money to hostile nations because it's just right. We've got to have a pump in our hand. You know the pump that the guy who didn't wash his hands after going to the toilet that just used it in front of you? The same pump that he picks up filthy, disgusting things, but we're addicted to it. You know, aren't we Gareth? Aren't we Gareth? Yeah, that was him. You could hear slamming the door, having a hissy fit. Someone probably ate all the cupcakes. Um, <laughs> at least we're all laughing. No, it, we're addicted to it. And the thought, you're never gonna be able to make it at home. It still requires trucks to drive it around. But the real big problem is that they're so bloody unreliable. Like at any time, if you look at the global map, which or the Californian map, which Justin's just put up here, 50% of the stupid things are out of order for various reasons. Lack of pressure. Are you going to prank me in the background? Through the window? Pranking. Or planking. Now, planking's actually when he works. He lays down on the job most of the time. Um, yeah, stupid things are offline all the time. And the final nail in the coffin is that Shell just pulled their whole hydrogen infrastructure out and threw it in a bin, shut all of their pumps in the US, like all 12 of them, which is a fair, you know, percentage of about the 30 that existed. So hydrogen, when you're not so bright uncle, is talking to you about it across the Christmas dinner table or whatever, Thanksgiving or whatever it is, just nod your head and smile because he's a soft skull. He has no idea, but his addiction to the pump has led him to believe that hydrogen's a good idea. And when it comes to cars and car transport, it's the dumbest idea ever. Take it from me, because I would know, because um, I just know. 
I read it on the internet. And thank you once more for tuning in to Arrange Anxiety TV.